started playing baseball when I was four years old and uh, I'm the youngest of three and my brother comes in the middle and he kind of taught me everything I know about sports today. Uh, going to college and and going through high school and being 5'6 and being the smallest on the team always and seeing how my brother progressed. My brother was, uh, his jersey got retired at our, at our high school in Centennial too and uh, he he was my inspiration growing up because he was so good at baseball and I wanted to be like my older brother. I wanted to go on and, and, and play in college and I, I told him, I said, hey, I just, I just hopefully, I hope I'm good enough to go play in college. And uh, I only got two college scholarships. One was to East Carolina. I had committed to East Carolina and that was my only baseball scholarship offer at the time. And uh, I, my brother went there, so I kind of felt like, okay, this is where God's leading me at the time. And, uh, East Carolina is about a nine hour trip from Franklin, Tennessee uh, going east and uh, that's when a couple months later I got a, I got a call from Tim Corbin at, at Vanderbilt University right down, the, right down the road and he said that they were going to offer me a full ride scholarship and that's when I decommitted from East Carolina and decided to go to Vanderbilt and uh, I think that's when you know the Lord started uh, you know working with me and then after my after my first year of, of college, I was the player of the year, uh, SEC player of the year. You know, still the smallest guy on the team and, uh, you know, went on to junior year and uh, won player of the year again and got drafted by the Astros. And, you know, there's always been, you know, people always say things, people always say you're small or, you know, you can't do certain things. And I think that is important. And I think that, you know, God puts you in certain situations for a reason. I always say it, you know, nothing happens just by, by coincidence. and. Uh, I went in the fifth round, I was blessed, but it all, all also keeps a chip on my shoulder because, you know, I always think if I got drafted higher, I probably would have gotten a little bit more complacent, but uh, for some reason in the fifth round, I felt like I should have gone higher, but, you know, uh, God always does things for a certain reason, so, uh, you know, going through pro ball and being able to make my major league debut in 2016 with the Houston Astros was, was everything. I was like, well, I, I, well, I can retire because I, I lived out my dream, but uh, you know, there's more to do, and so, uh, you know, God's working in my life every day. Uh, to me, the gospel speaks through uh, scripture, and it speaks through how you live your life. There's always going to be hardships, like everything's not going to be perfect in your life, and being able to rely on Jesus and be, being able to, to pray to Him is uh, something that's big for me. Being able to pick up a scripture and something that is going on in your life, and you can pick up a scripture and say, all right, I'm going to look up Hebrews 10:35, and it says, uh, "Do not throw away your confidence, for it holds high regard." And that's something that is—it's dear to my heart because every time that I need to, I need Jesus, I always go back to Scripture, or I always go back to you know how has He uh, catapulted my life in the positive, in the positive realm, and in the negative realm. I think sometimes He, uh, you know, He gives you those challenges because. Uh, I think sometimes the moments that you stop praying or you stop having Jesus or God in your mouth are the times that he, he responds and say, no, you do need me. So the times that you're actually, you're actually going through struggles is the time that he's like, no, this is when you need me the most. You can't do this, you can't do this life by yourself. Being able to talk to my wife and being able to talk to my brother and saying, you know, you have a support system in that, in that regard, you do. but. Uh, being able to get on your hands and knees and being able to, to pray and know that God's always got your back, uh, it just relaxes me and I think that's the biggest thing for me. I think playing for him is, is very important because once you have this platform, you can, you're able to have a voice and I think that voice is important because kids watch and kids pay attention. Uh, you, see the, you see the bat flips and you see uh, kids doing it in, in Little League now and why do they do that? Because they're watching ma Major League players do it so they want to be like the Major League players so uh, when you have like a off the field interview and you see one of your favorite players talking about their religious beliefs and being able to play for Jesus is a big deal. There's always going to be doubters and there's always going to be people in your life that are going to say that you can't do something and uh, you know I remember being in high school and college and, and praying to God why did you know, I used to be upset that I was small and, you know, you realize that, you know, hey, I made you small for a reason and you're able to have this platform and 
to be able to talk to kids and go to a local centennial camp and to be able to go to a camp to where kids can come up and say, hey, I'm the smallest on my team too. What, uh, you know, what advice do you have for me? And uh, that's a big deal because those kids will remember things that you tell them for um, for a lifetime. And even growing up and uh, being the smallest on the team, I wanted to just have the biggest heart. And, uh, you know, I think, I think God, you know, God doesn't make mistakes. So being able to do what uh, he's done in my life is, uh, is, is important. I'm Tony Kemp and I play for him.